Hi. As promised, there is another way that you can add assignments to the gradebook other than just individually one at a time. If I look at my um, gradebook, I might want to add several assignments all at once. So I am going to um, come to this window. I need to make sure because it just kind of depends on where I left off. I want to make sure that I am looking at the class that I am interested in and that I'm in the right grading cycle and I can change that with the change button. Um, what I notice is that I already have one assignment in here, but I probably would like to add a couple of different more, a, different, a couple more. Um, and so I can do this. This is a largely the same set of windows that I would go through if I were adding one at a time, but it's a little bit uh, better for adding multiple assignments. For this one, I'm going to say this is a daily grade and it's a get to know you. Um, I'm going to make it out of 100 points and I like to highlight the folks who uh, did not were not successful on this assessment. And then unfortunately, I cannot resize this window, so I do have to scroll. I like to publish everything. Um, I don't know why, why sorry, let me do that one. And then I want to make sure that I always save before I move on. If I've made a mistake like here in the test, I did not indicate that it should be published. So I can hit the pencil to edit and then it takes me to this window at, or it refreshes the window and allows me to change these options. Once again, I'm going to save. And then if I want to, I can add yet another assignment and I add assignments as always with whatever the icon is with the plus sign on it. So perhaps the scrolling is a pain, I'm not gonna lie. Perhaps on the second day, <laughs> We actually do this. Um, we, I want to give them a sort of a, a prerequisite skills assessment. So I want to, this is gonna be a quiz grade, and I just want to see um, what their uh, algebra skills are gonna be like. Uh, again, it's however many points that assignment is out of. I do want to do this. So you can see that this is the process by which I can add lots of assignments all at once. They're all saved and they should appear in my gradebook. Now, if I just go to gradebook, since this was the last course that I was interested in, that is the course that it's going to come up and you should be able to see them here. So again, I can um, add comments. I can fill lots of different, or I can fill all of the, the students' grades at one time and I can change the publication. And if a student is unsuccessful, um, then it will show up as a highlighted Grade. If I actually did that correctly, perhaps not till I actually save it. So that is how I can add, add grades and how I can add assignments, multiples at one time. There's also um, pretty handy is copying assignments. So if I want to copy my assignments from this class to my other pre-AP geometry class, then I can do that. Um, it looks like this, and this is kind of a strange window. You have to be very careful here. I need to indicate what marking periods. Um, I'm, that's the first one is copy from. So I want to always make sure I'm in the right grading period. Um, sometimes that trips me up, I'll be honest, and I copy to the wrong grading period. I only want to copy assignments to the first grading period. I can either choose to do all the assignments that I've collected so far, or I can choose particular ones. Perhaps I only want to, to copy this assignment over and it what it will do or this category. And so it will populate a sub list with all of the assignments that I have in the category of daily grades. And I can either choose all of them or I can choose a select few. And then perhaps I also want to change uh, or copy over my quizzes. And so once I've, this is where I'm coming from, once I've identified what, where I'm coming from, then I want to copy two. And I, to be honest, have never really messed with all of those. I just copy everything at once because they're similar courses. To add a course, that's I want to copy to. And so I need to do the add course so that I know what class I'm copying it to. And in this case, I'm going to copy it to my other pre-AP geometry class. I click add. And now I have a window down here. And Let's get rid of that just for a moment so we can buzz through this. And then now that I have everything set up, I just finally want to copy. And it tells me that the copy is finished. And that's how we can copy assignments from one classroom to the next.